Magandang uh, gabi po sa bawat isa sa atin sa oras na ito, lalong-lalo na po ang taga-subaybay ng ilaw broadcast sa gabing ito. Tayo po ay nandito para mag-aral. Ibig namin, lalong-lalo na po ang mga naglilingkod sa Panginoon, ang mga gustong maglingkod sa Panginoon, at lalong matuto kung paano mag-interpret ng Bible, pag-uusapan po natin ang subject ng hermeneutics or dinagdagan ko ng salitang rightly dividing the word of truth. So ang ating subject sa gabing ito ay patungkol sa hermeneutics. Bago ang lahat tayo po yung manalangin, Panginoon Diyos na banal, pangunahan mo kami, turuan mo kami, Nagpapakumbaba kami sapagkat sa ganang amin, wala kaming alam, wala kaming magagawa kung wala ka sa amin. Punuin mo ang aming mga espiritu, ang aming kaisipan, ang aming puso, ng karunungan, katalinuhan, ikis lahat, karunungan o katuroan na nagmumula sa inyo. Because this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, our subject sa gabing ito ay hermeneutics. Hermeneutics. Okay, so uh, uh, ito ang uh, inyong uh, tagapaglingkod, tagapagturo, si Dr. Hilario B. Bilen, uh, ang inyong kapatid na magpapaliwanag sa mga o sa subject na ito. So either kayo po ay kumukuha ng Bachelor of Arts in Theology or Bachelor of Arts in Christian Education or Ministry or Divinity bagay po sa inyo ito or kayo po ay gustong matuto kung paano mag-interpret ng tamang paraan para sa inyo at sa atin lahat po ito. Again, uh, ang subject na ito, ang description ng subject na ito is a study of exegetical and biblical interpretation with principles and methods to be followed. Rightly dividing the word of truth according sa take 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 to make effort in analyzing the word of God correctly by following rules of interpretation of hermeneutics this is a course on the various methods and principles of biblical interpretations including the practice in developing skills of Grapping the author's original intended meaning and its contemporary significance. So ang ating objective sa ating pag-aaral ay makita natin ang kahalagaan ng Biblia sa tamag pag-interpret nito. To, be, to, to make aware of some of the problems encountered by biblical interpreters to help you learn and apply the accepted principles and methods of Bible interpretation, to know the way of rules of interpretation that may explain broadly. And more. Uh, nakikita naman po ninyo sa screen. Uh, sapagkat uh, I'm just here to teach and give you the lecture about 30 minutes only. Okay, so we will not talk about the course requirements. It is because uh, I'm not asking you to give the requirements. All, all, all you have to do is to listen to me carefully. Please lend me your ears this evening for uh, around 30 minutes in order for you and I to understand clearly what is hermeneutics. Na ito po ay napakahalaga na dapat nating maunawaan lahat. Okay, marami pong... Uh, Again, uh, hindi po classroom style po ito because I'm teaching on the screen. So I hope, okay, nandyan po yung mga uh, books na kung saan uh, pinagkunan yung mga nilalaman ng ating mga papag-aralan. Okay? Nandito naman po yung uh, outline ng course na ito. Nandyan yung paano maunawa ng Bible, rightly divided the word of truth, Yung definition of terms and general interpretation. Nandyan po kailangan maunawaan po natin. 
yung sources of interpreters principles basic objectives of, of interpreters valid in in valid principles again in many many more okay uh, if you want a copy of this manual and if you are my friend on my facebook my facebook is you can type only hilario Bilen, and you can see my Facebook, and you can open my Facebook, and then you will see that I'm offering this. Napakamura lang po ito. Okay? Napakamura lang po ito. Again, uh, I hope you can see this sa inyong uh, screen. Sapagkat isiner ko po ito, so makikita nyo po ito sa inyong screen. At pag-uusapan po natin lahat ito sa gabing ito. Okay? Again, again, um, uh, gusto ko po mga kapatid na lumawak yung ating pagkaalam sa uh, salita po ng Diyos. Okay? Uh, okay, para mabilis po tayo, para mabilis po tayo, let's talk about understanding the Bible. Napakahalaga po ito. Maring ikaw at ako ay nagtuturo na pero kailangan po na maunawaan natin ang Biblia na ating ipinapangaral. Uh, huwag natin kakalimutan according to 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15 to 17. Kung babasahin po ninyo, ang ang Bible po ay number one, this is the book of salvation. Book of salvation. It is not the book of science. This is the book of of, uh, of literary, not philosophy, not science, not literature, but the Bible is the book of salvation. Pangalawa, kung babasahin po natin ang buong Biblia from the book of Genesis up to the book of Revelation, ang pinakasentro ng mensahe po ng Bible ay walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Okay? Nandyan yan, in the, in the book of Genesis, yung five books kung tawagin natin, yung Pentateuch, Christ and the Law. And then pagdating po sa mga prophets, okay, from Yosua to Malachi, yung, yung Christ and the prophets. And then yung writings, yung book of Psalms, Proverbs, Song of Song. Christ in the writings. And then sa New Testament, uh, mula Mateo hanggang uh, Revelation, Christ in the New Testament. So ang nilalaman po ng buong libro, ng Bible po, ay walang iba, ang pinakatema ay walang iba, kundi ang Lord Jesus Christ. Now, check natin. True faith. True faith. So, ang uh, kaligtasan po ay Kailangan maunawa natin sapagkat sa mga magitan ng pagbabasa, magkakaroon tayo ng page at magkakaroon po tayo ng kaligtasan okay, sa buhay. Now, according sa 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, okay, bilis bilisan natin kasi yung oras natin na uh, tumatagbo. Uh, Unang-unang makita natin, if you will read that, dividing, which means to make a straight cut. To analyze correctly. Nang ibig sabihin ng dividing. Dividing the word of truth. It is not dividing the scripture but teaching accurately. Okay, the word. The word, ang ibig sabihin niya sa salitang Grego is logos. Yan po ay yung kasulatan, yung scripture. Merong sinasawag doon na truth. And the Greek word ng truth is aletheia. To be true and to speak or tell the truth. So, dividing the word of truth. It means to make effort in analyzing the word of God correctly by following the rules of interpretation of hermeneutics. Okay? So, Kung, uh, kung titignan po ninyo ang buhay ni Timoteo, how did Timothy apply this? 
he follows the step in interpreting the Bible. Why did Timothy apply this guide? Because he was called to be a teacher and he is called to correct those who are in opposition. Okay, kailangan uh, alam natin yung katotohanan at kailangan uh, ituro yung katotohanan. Okay, yung salitang straight, set straight or handle right. It means not only to give the true meaning, but also the right application to the various time and classes of people. Truth must be divided dispensationally, prophetically, historically, and with regard for classes and subjects. The chief fundamental principle of interpretation is to gather from the scripture themselves the precise meaning the writer intended to convey. Okay, so check natin maigi. When the language cannot be taken literally, we know it is figurative. We should then get the literal truth conveyed by the figurative language. Yes. Now, Let's talk about some of the uh, definition of terms. Okay, so I hope you can see in the screen. I hope you are seeing in the screen the word phonology. Phonology is the study of the evolution of speech sounds, especially from one status to another within a particular language. Morphology is the branch of linguistics that deals with the internal structure and forms of words. Lexicography, the art, the process, the art or work of writing or compiling a dictionary or um, dictionaries. Syntax. The arrangement of words as elements in a sentence to show the relationship. Hermeneutics. This is the discipline that deals with principles of interpretation or the science of interpretation. Oh, it is a science because it provides a logical and orderly classification of the laws and interpretations. So napakahalaga po ito ha. It is the science of interpretation. Napakahalaga. The discipline that deals with principles of interpretation. Oh, oh, well, uh, we are just talking about the introduction of the mass or of the subject this evening. And by the grace of the Lord, we keep on continuing the lesson every Tuesday, 8. 30 p.m. up to 9 p.m. every Tuesday. Okay? The Greek verb hermenoio means to interpret or explain. The Greek noun hermenia means interpretation or explanation. Okay? Now, kailangan magkaroon po tayo ng, if you are the preacher of the word, Kailangan magkaroon po tayo ng advanced study of the word. Okay, the greatest responsibility of a minister is the ministry of the word of God to the congregation. Your, your work and my work is to share, lecture, preach, okay, the Bible. Okay, so mahal gayon. Okay, uh, we check the exegesis, uh, the hermeneutics, exegesis, and preaching. Okay, when you say, uh, no, in exegesis, the preacher concentrates on the meaning of the test. Sorry, sorry. Uh, not, uh, not test, text. Okay. Uh, the, in exegesis, the, the preacher concentrates on the meaning of the text as originally historically understood. The minister 
must treat his text exegetically before he treats it homiletically. To be responsible exeget, he must have a responsive working theory of the biblical hermeneutics. Okay? So, uh, there are many examples. There are many examples, okay, uh, in the Bible. But we have to omit this because I'm just showing you only uh, the introduction of the subject this evening. When you say art, it is an art because the application of the rules, it is by skills and not by mechanical imitation. Okay? It is a science, it is because it is guided by rules within system. Okay, in the Greek myth mythology, Hermes is the messenger of God or the God of wealth, the God of dead, the God of conduction of souls in Hades or God of sleep. The young name Zeus, the supreme God of the Greeks, where Bernabe and Paul spoke in the Bible. So Hermes the etymology or source of the word. Mercurio means messenger. Mercurio means messenger. Okay, so makikita niya yan sa Book of Acts, especially sa chapter 14. Yung word exegesis, in which the meaning of the scripture is brought out. The interpretation of the original language, historical, cultural, and social practice and content. To show the original language, for example, the, Bible, the Old Testament was written in Hebrew, while the New Testament was written in Greek, so you have to check that. Now, the difference between exegesis and isogesis. Isogesis meaning interpreting by our own concept. So we are just interpreting the word according to what we know. To bring or bringing a meaning into scripture as opposed. Okay, ingatan natin yon. Ingatan po natin yon. Bakit ko sinasabing iniingatan? Kasi yun, kung ano yung alam natin. Okay? So, uh, uh, when we say interpretation, which means what the Bible means. Kailangan, pag nagbigay tayo ng mensahe, we are just speaking kung ano yung sinasabi ng Bible. We don't go beyond what is written from the Bible. So yun ang trabaho natin as interpreter. Yung application concerning how we apply what the Bible says. Paano natin isagawa ngayon ang sinasabi ng Bible? So napakahalaga na mayroon po tayong strong concordance, uh, Bible dictionary, kung maari mayroon po tayong Greek Bible, mayroon tayong Hebrew Bible. Okay? Okay, bakit napakahalaga ang interpretation? The wakit napakahalaga ang interpretation. Because the term hermeneutics designates both the science and the art of interpretation. Science and art of interpretation. The Greek verb hermeneo means to interpret or explain. The Greek noun hermeneia means interpretation or explanation. Okay? The uh, Greek verb hermeneo means to interpret or explain. The Greek noun hermeneia means interpretation or explanation. So in both Greek, in both the Greek counterpart and the contemporary technical term, interpretation has to do with meaning. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin 
Ano ba ang pakahulugan? Ano ba ang sinasabi ng Bible sa teksto ito? Ano ba ang sinasabi ng Lord sa versikulong ito? Yan po yung mga dapat nating maunawaan. Kasi pag hindi, magkakaroon po tayo ng problem. Okay? May problem po tayo doon. Um, interpretation as a discipline is important because meaning has to do with the core of a man's thinking. Again, according to 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15, to handle the message of truth rightly demands sound principles of interpretation. So kailangan tama po eh. Hindi pwede yung mali. Uh, sabi na Apostol Pablo sa 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 17, the interpreter must have pure motives. He must speak as one sent from God. He must present his conclusions before God. He must do all this with an awareness that he is bound to Christ. Okay? So again, brothers and sisters, this is just only an introduction of the subject hermeneutics. My question is this. Are you abiding the rules, the laws of interpretation? Nagsesermon ka ba? Or yung bang itinuturo mo ay yan ba talaga ang sinasabi ng teksto na iyong ginagamit? Yan ba talaga ang katuruan na sinasabi ng Bible? Or ikaw at ako ay nagtuturo, binabahagi mo yung mga salita na na ang tawag doon? Na narinig mo lang or yun lang ang unawa mo. Ingatan po natin yon mga kapatid. Kasi mahirap. Mahirap po eh. Delikado po yun. Yun, yun ang huwag na huwag nating gagawin. So, sa mga susunod na mga linggo, we try our best na buksan natin ang nakatagong katotohanan sa Bible. Alam po ninyo, napakahalaga, kung ang tagapagturo ng Word of God ay Tama ang kanyang interpretation, napakasarap pakinggan at nakakapagbago po yan ng buhay. Nagbabago yung ating buhay kasi maganda yung ating naririnig. Maganda po yung ating nauunawaan. No? Marami po ang mga example sa Bible. Huwag niyo pong kakalimutan as we go on with the lesson. Nandyan po yung parables. Nandyan po yung uh, uh, iba't ibang, nandyan yung Psalms, nandyan po yung uh, Proverbs, nandyan po ang Prophecy, nandyan po ang Story. Marami iba-iba po ang pagkasulat ng mga libro sa Bible, kaya napakahalaga na maunawaan po natin. So, mga preachers, kailangan po makinig po tayo. No? Makinig po tayo. Mahalaga na maunawaan mo at maunawaan ko maigi ang sinasabi ng Bible. Kasi pag hindi, may problem po tayo mga kapatid. May problem po tayo. Bakit? Eh, hindi natin alam yung, yung technique yung roles and laws of interpretation no marami kaya ang problem ang instead na yung mga tao dadalhin natin sa katotohanan naliligaw lalo kaya nga ang sabi ng Panginoon mahirap kung ang tagaakay ay bulag at ang inaakay ay mga bulag sabi ng Panginoon, 
sila po ay mahuhulog sa bangin. Bakit? Sapagkat sila po ay kapwa bulak. Okay, so mahalaga po na ayo po ay mag-aaral. Uh, ang gagawin lang natin sa ating subject ay i-check lang natin ang sinasabi po ng Bible. I-check lang po natin. Huwag tayong mag-usap ng kahit ano po man. No? I-check lang natin how to interpret the written word of God. Alam niyo pag sinabi mong prophet, pag sinabi mong spokesman, hindi ka pwedeng magsalita ng salita na hindi galing sa nagutos sa iyo. Ganun po 'yon. Again, marami po tayong pag-uusapan po sa subject na ito. Napakarami. Hermeneutics. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Marami po tayong pag-uusapan yung mga batas. Yung mga batas especially mga kapatid yung ating bible na hawak ay lumang kasulatan sipin mo pag binasa mo ang genesis ilang libong taon na po ang nakakaraan ang problem yung nakikinig sa iyo at sa akin ay mga tao sa ating henerasyon pag mali yung ating pagunawa at pagkaunawa mali din yung ating ibabahagi sa kanila Kapatid, iba ang panahon ni Moses, iba ang panahon nila Abraham, nila Adam, iba ang ating panahon. Kaya kailangan ikaw at ako ay marunong umunawa sa salita ng Diyos. Again, salamat sa pagbigay ninyo ng oras sa pagkikinig sa subject na hermeneutics. Pagpalain po tayong lahat ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful this evening. Pangunahan mo kami, hayaan mo na matuto kami sa mga salita na ay maririnig sa gabing ito because this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.